Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about SAMe. My name is Dr. Meredith Astrup. I'm a licensed naturopathic doctor. So research suggests that SAMe is more effective than placebo in treating mild to moderate depression, and it's just as effective as antidepressant medication without the side effects like headaches, drowsiness, sexual dysfunction, and weight gain. So SAMe has been approved as a prescription drug for depression in Germany, Italy, Spain, and Russia, and it's available in the, in the United States without a prescription. So what is SAMe? CME is a naturally occurring compound found in every cell in the body, and it functions as a methyl donor in more than 100 chemical reactions. So it's created when homocysteine is methylated to the amino acid methionine, and methionine is then converted to SAMe. SAMe plays a role in the immune system, glutathione production, maintaining cellular membranes, and the creation of important neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Uh, so B vitamins are really important for CME to function properly. So if there's low folate, B6, B12 from a poor diet, stress, or uh, gut malabsorption, then homocysteine can increase, which leads to blood vessel damage and increases a risk of cardiovascular disease. Additionally, high homocysteine increases the neurotransmitter glutamate. High glutamate levels can cause neuronal damage or death and is associated with mental health conditions like anxiety or depression. So low B vitamins does not allow homocysteine to be converted to methionine, which is then converted to SAMe. Low SAMe levels can lead to a decrease in the neurotransmitters we need for a healthy mood. So dosing SAMe. Dosing for mild to moderate depression has shown to be most effective at 1600 milligrams per day in divided doses and can be increased to up to 3200 milligrams a day in divided doses. So it's best to start slowly with 200 milligrams twice daily and increase doses every few days until the desired dose is reached. So research is showing that taking CME along with antidepressant medication can improve the effectiveness of some of the medications. But CME can interact with uh, some medications, so it's best to talk to your provider if CME is right for you. The most common side effects of CME is nausea, and this can be mitigated by taking it with food. So CME might help other drugs not interact with the liver, therefore reducing liver damage. This can be particularly helpful in elderly patients with depression or anybody with compromised liver function. So preliminary, preliminary research is showing CME can be helpful for liver function and normalizing liver enzymes in people with liver disease. Studies are also showing that CME can be helpful for dementia and ADHD. So everyone should contact their physician before starting any new supplements, especially those that are already being treated for any health conditions with prescription medications. Additionally, we're not meant to be on supplements for the rest of our life. Like medications, they can be utilized as tools as we do the work to get to the root cause of our mental health concerns through lab testing, lifestyle changes, and adopting new perceptions. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, subscribe to my page. Thanks, guys.